Wow. Is that you? That or photo is, is me. Doesn't yes. look like you. That's when you were younger? That's my face. A photo I haven't seen in years. Found in seconds by the facial recognition app Clearview AI. So it works, right? This New York Times investigation woke us all up. The realization, privacy may be a thing of the past. And that's because of this guy, Wonton Tat, the creator of Clearview AI. Well, quite simply, Clearview is basically a search engine for faces. Think about the photos you've posted online, or photos that others have posted of you. There's a good chance he's collected them. His app has scraped billions of images from sites like Facebook, Twitter, and Google to use in a facial recognition system. He claims more than 600 law enforcement agencies in the US and Canada are using it, though it's unclear how many have actually paid for it. So that's the photo of you. So this is a, a photo of me from CNN.com. Wow. <laughs> We're starting to see pictures of me that are not from that original image. This is from Medium. Tech giants aren't happy about this. They say it violates their terms of service and have sent cease and desist letters. LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube. So this, this photograph is from uh, my local newspaper. This AI technology is looking at what it's looking the at. The unique features, so it learns to ignore things a little bit like the beard and focus on the features that stay the same across uh, you know, different age. Do you understand why people find this creepy? I can understand people having concerns around privacy. So the first part to remember, it's only publicly available information. We're not just making technology for its own sake. The reason and the purpose we found is to really help law enforcement solve crime. I was deeply disturbed. I was concerned about how Clearview had amassed its database of images. I was concerned about its data privacy, uh, and I was concerned that it was tracking law enforcement searches. Clearview clearly claims that it works. Uh, in these, these sting operations that we do, we have, so we know that the person has committed a crime. We know that they're coming to the undercover location where law enforcement will arrest them. What we don't know is who is this person. But what we do have is a picture that they've sent to the undercover. And so the Clearview app was used to get the name of the individual coming uh, to the undercover location. We wanted to find out, well, does this person have firearms? Do they have a violent history? That's how that tool was used in that particular case. It wasn't used to develop the probable cause to arrest that person. It was used for law enforcement safety purposes. Are you concerned about taking a tool as powerful as that out of the hands of law enforcement? I'm not categorically opposed to the use of facial recognition technology. A facial recognition tool can be used properly if we understand how the database is created. Whether or not facial recognition is a very effective tool for criminal investigation, we can think of that question as a little bit beside the point. The question is, what do we want police to be able to know about us, considering most of us really haven't done anything that warrants our information being in law enforcement databases?